Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Infinity Evolved. Um, so obviously you can see I just started dismantling things. Um, there's nothing that I need, and that would be... Item... Duck. Actually, we might be able to go with the item conduit. Uh, pulsing iron. No, that's actually kind of expensive. That's the ender pearl. Okay, so I guess we're not going to go with item ducks. We're going to go with the item... Or, wow. Said that backwards again. We're not going to go with the item conduits. We're going to go with the item ducks, I guess. So, the clear ones are actually kind of expensive because they take this hardened glass, which is a mess. So we're actually just going to go with the opaque, which is tin and lead. So I grabbed the wrong kind of metal. Actually, no, I didn't. Boom. Uh, I guess that's enough. 30 should be more than enough, actually. I'm going to leave this set up here for the moment. Let's go back downstairs. Let's turn on the volume. I guess I'm going to put the setup right here in this back corner. Um, I need to make sure that we can't have stuff spawn down here. So obviously we're going to need the pulverizer. I think I'm actually going to do this left to right and I might embed it in the wall. I guess. So, pulverizer, we're going to need to reconfigure all of this. This is going to be output, input. Actually, input might be to the top. That doesn't matter. There we go. That should be all set now. Um, I guess I'll change the input to be both the side and the top. Alright, so there's our little... Um, I don't know why it's electrical power for the time being. Let's go ahead and... Actually, our output should come from the back side, I suppose. On this one. Like so. And there's a torch. Why isn't... Oh, that's the top. This will be the back side. Okay. Um, actually, electricity has to go through the back side, so this is going to have to be this side, I guess. Not electricity, but power. Alright, so let's go ahead and rip a hole through here. I guess actually we'll do it too tall. Right, we don't have to cut out so much. And like it so. Okay. So now we're going to need. Alright, so this is going to be wheat in, wheat flour out, wheat flour out, bread in. Or not, wow. Bread in. Or, wow, we flour in, bread out, bread in, toast out. Oh. 
So this is going to need an item duct and let's go ahead and throw down that. Actually, we should pull it from the top, maybe. Maybe that'd be easier. Ah, wow. Today is going to be one of those days. I don't know what that means. No connection, I guess. There we go. A couple holes here, but not a big deal. Alright, because I want that to be like that, I think. But then if I pull it from the top, it's not going to make much of a difference anyways, so. Actually, will it? It might. Yeah, I think it would. I don't have any extra bricks and stuff on me either. Alright. Make sure we don't get stuck in here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Guess that's good. That's going to allow us to take the items and go up and above there and then string them all together here to go in these generators. Oh, which we're going to have to turn because power only comes out of these guys one way. Well, actually two ways, but... You guys probably know what I mean. And we probably overkilled it with the culinary generators, but... It is what it is. I guess we could just set up the five. That'd probably be more than enough. Oh, with that being said, we're gonna need more power conduit things. Um, I think I actually am going to switch to the conduits, which is from Ender I.O. At least for power transfer. That doesn't look too bad. I can keep the mouse going straight. I wonder... Uh, you no, know you can set up 70 different ways. We probably could just stick like panels on top of those anyways. So what do the condu came and spell today? Come on. That was a mess. These redstone conduits is redstone alloy, which is just silicon and redstone. You can do that. We still should have some silicon left over. I think I threw in this chest, there we go, bingo, bango, bongo. Let's just take some redstone, because why not? I'm going to use these to transfer power, I think, from now on, because they do transfer, do they transfer a little bit quicker? We can actually make these into conduit switches. Oh, no, we want energy conduit, what am I doing? Gravel, clay, sand. Not a big deal. Conductive iron. That's iron and redstone, so that could have been bad. Which, actually, I'm kind of running low on iron, I think. One number that's divisible. Oh, well, I didn't have it set up. 
Let's come back over here real quick and go take a nap. Alright. Trying to think what I'm trying to do, I guess. Because these only transfer 200 per tick. These transfer 600 per tick. So I want these. The conduit binder is kind of a pain. Um, do we have any more sand? Or did I use all of that to make silicon? I'm really hoping I didn't use all of it. I'm sure we got some kick around here. Uh, sand, sand, sand. Here. Two. Great. That's two sand, clay, and gravel. We got plenty of clay and plenty of gravel. I think we gotta pop that into a redstone furnace. There we go. Oh yeah, we got plenty, I think. Alright, so then that's gonna bring us in conductive iron, which is gonna need the alloy smelter. And that's gonna be iron and redstone. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. Alright, let's go put some of this stuff back. Clean up our inventory a bit. There we go. That's burning to quite a bit of power too, actually. Do we... What is this stuff over here? We had something in here. Redstone alley. Oh, that's not gonna help us. Nope. Oh, we got more. We got tons of iron. Okay. Fair enough. We got potion effects at that speed. Doesn't make much of a difference now. Let's turn off that. Alright. These are growing pretty well. I think I lost a piece or a few pieces, I guess. Yep, there we go. Actually, just move this. I think this stores the power. Where'd he go? Yes. We can actually just pop that down right there. That's gonna feed a power. Cool. And this setup will be moved as well. But I want to get the power generation all set up. And ready to go. Let's get one more, and that should be probably enough. If I can click on the right thing. Energetic alloy, what's this? Okay, yeah, we can't make that right now. Because we only got like two pieces of glowstone. That takes a lot of power, too. But this is what we're going to be making. We end up with a half a stack of that. Nice. And there we go. There we go, 16 of these. So these are Ender I.O. power transfer cables. Which are called the energy conduits, I think that's what they're called. Yes. Now Ender I.O. is pretty cool. You can have multiple different pipes on the same block. So that's why I want to use these. These work very similar. I mean, they have quite a bit of a different look, but... Overall, they work pretty similar. Like so. 
So now if we want to ch test out the system, make sure that it's doing what it needs to do, we can take and we can drop our wheat in here. It's going to cook through the wheat. It's going to go boom. And is it going to transfer out of there? It is transferring out of there. And we are come up with some power. I'm going to fill these last two. That should be producing a lot more power than what we had prior. Yep, that's going to be gaining power. Uh, that's not quite gaining, but... There's three machines that are running on that. This one... Is staying roughly the same. But of course, we only got like three or four of these running. Yeah. Matter of fact, we could throw in another one, I suppose. Oh, pardon me. That's actually my phone. Um, it's going to be my mom probably calling me to talk about the headphones. Um, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera. I'll come back and let you guys know after. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If so, make sure you guys smash that like button. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. But other than that, I'll catch you all next time. See ya!